What's up guys? My name's Connor and welcome to the A House series where I build my parents' retirement house. I decided that I'm going to be doing excavations, so I picked up a Bosch laser. I got it so that I can set grade more accurately for a longer period of distance. Um, because if I set up string lines, it would just get messy with the excavator and this will help me grade the property as well. This is the RV LEV 4000. It's a dual slope rotary laser. And I got this one because it has a screen on it and you can set your percent. If you say if you're doing the grading, if I wanted a 2% slope, I can set a 2% slope this way and I could also set another slope in another plane. So let's say I want 4% this way and then 2% this way, this one can do that, where not all lasers can do that. Let's cut the box open and then we can see a little bit more. Here is the laser in here. You can load this up with the D batteries and you can use that. Or you also have the option of just using the normal 18 volt battery. And this should slide right in like that. So I guess we'll use this one for now. Here's the receiver which is pretty nice because you get the receipt you can receive from this side and then it'll tell you readings up or down on this side but then they also code it with sound and then here's the remote you can also do it from bluetooth with this particular laser but this would be nice if you're a uh, far distance away and trying to set grade and then here's the wall mount but i don't think we'll be using this i got a tripod and i'll show you that in a second we also ordered this bosch tripod and this one up. By the way, this is also my first rotary laser. I've used it before on other job sites, but I've never had my, my own. The tripod also has this adjuster where you can make it taller. If you want to make some minor adjustments. Is there a lock? It feels kind of tight. Right here, probably. There we go. You go up and then you just lock it in place and then, yeah, let's get this up. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this one comes with this little plate where you can take off of the tripod, screw it in, and then once it's on, you can just tighten this bolt into the tripod. We got all like the higher quality laser equipment. It's not necessarily needed, but since my first time um, using all this, I think it'll make it a lot easier. Another thing too is on the back side, you can mount it sideways. So say if you're doing something with the wall, we can use this hole and mount it on the bottom and use it like that. And let's turn it on. Once you turn it on, I think you need to let it um, self level. As you're doing that, we'll set up the stick. I got this fire cord stick. If you guys, uh, want to check out all the stuff I got. I got this on Amazon during Prime Days, so I got a pretty good deal. But uh, you could also buy it all as a kit. If I end up making an Amazon store, I'll uh, put the links in the description. Or even not, even if I don't, I can still put the links in the description if you want to check it out. The exact equipment I got. This is the Firecore 13 foot grade stick. And has a little little level you just clip in right here so then you can make sure that your stuff is plumb but we'll keep it at just about over six foot for now and we'll set up the receiver i'm learning all this as i'm going with you guys as well so yeah so this one needs batteries it takes two double a's which is nice they actually had it in the box for me so let's get that in When it beeps slow, that means you need to go up. And then when it beeps fast, it means you need to go down and it tells you the exact amount. And then the solid, when it's solid and green, that means it's perfectly at grade. Right there. And then on the back side, it's easy. So if I'm standing here, I can look at it as well. So I'm like, oh shoot, I need to go up. 
uh, 0.95 of an inch. So then I'll just go down a bit. And then right there is perfect. And then you can also set your tolerances if they don't want the sound on. <laughs> this gives me 0.15 of an inch, 0.25 of an inch, and whatever you want, really. So whatever accuracy you need. We'll keep our accuracy pretty small right now. And then let's check out how this works over here. I think this is the speed. Oh. Why is it so wobbly? Okay, that's sturdy now. Okay, bun. Okay, so I, since I made it wobbly, it has to re-level itself. Once it does that, we'll play around with the settings. Okay, I think it's good now. So, if we look up here, going down this way is X direction, and then this way is Y. So if I wanted to set a slope that way, this is positive, is this way. So if I put positive up, and negative would be down. So if you want to slope down, we would go negative down on the X. So we click on this one, this is our X. We want it to be negative, so we'll do a negative 2% slope. Now, this is how you do your dual slope, but we'll just leave it at a single slope. And now it's adjusting. Cool, so now we have a negative 2% slope. If we took a grade stick right here, that's perfect because it's green. And then when we come back down over here, so you can see right there, that's 2% slope with that space under the bar. So then if we had the, the Y slope, we could, have, we could set that slope as well. So if we were at a certain point here, we could get our grade slope this way and this way at the same time. So that's the cool part about this laser, where most lasers would only do the one slope. So this is pretty cool. I can do all the controls from here too. Make it go really slow. Put it back to 600. So now it's spinning really fast. So that's 360. 50. 25. 10. And then the dot. And then let's see what else we can do. We can change the x-axis here. You can do like negative one. And then we can go to the Y axis and slope it this way as well. We can do plus one. It's gonna recalculate and then it shows on there too. But you can also change, by pressing this, you can change the direction of the laser. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure you can connect your phone to it and then just type in what grades you need. So I figured it out and I took a quick screen recording. I want to change the slope. You can change it right from here. So I'm setting to zero and zero. And then I'll go to my camera so you can see and it, it switches right over to real time. I like the app, it's called Leveling Remote and it can do other stuff like change the rotation speed as well. These are, I don't know, some of the rough features. Once we start doing the excavations, we'll I guess I'll show you a lot more about it. But so far, I think it's a pretty cool laser. And uh, yeah, I bought them all separate, but they do come in a kit. But this is the BT300 HD Professional Bosch uh, rotary laser uh, tripod. And then the dual slope rotary laser by Bosch. And then we have the, the fire core 13 foot grade stick. And this one just goes up and down you can press these buttons oh you can press these buttons and slide it where you need but it locks in every three and a half feet so that's about it if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments and uh i hope you watch our next videos